previously on the lineage of Moonreach, we got back to Wolves Rest and we saw our doppelgangers' bodies in a pile of mush, but nobody else there seemed to understand that those were human ish remains. So something weird was there. We grabbed a finger so Tomar could try to resurrect this person. It was Evil Pinwin. Turned out to be Calcifer. While he was working on that, we went into town to get food. Willem got drunk like an asshole. <laughs> I had to corral those idiots back. Anyway, Calcifer was being a douche per usual, And then we hopped into my gargantian mansion. Got cleaned up a bit. Comforted Pinwin. He's having some... He's having some mental issues right now and having a tough time, but, you know, we'll get back to that. Finally, we went through the back door of my mansion and went back to Moonreach, back to my baby Gorbel house. And I show up there, and someone greets me, and I have no fucking clue who it is. Finally, someone went through my back door. (laughs) The D20 Syndicate presents The Lineage of Moonreach. Welcome back to the D20 Syndicate podcast. Hey. Oh, we're here. called you an asshole, Billy. <laughs> you guys always call me an asshole. Oh, okay. Whenever well. I do something, I'm an asshole. Willem killed somebody. What an asshole. God, Willem drank. What an asshole. Willem. On his birthday. <laughs> Willem paid the bill early. <laughs> what an asshole. Fucking prick. You try to look good in front of everybody else? <laughs> fucking wet Going to work. shit lip. Anyway, <laughs> you dumb fucking prick. <laughs> we are a Hi. Dungeons and Dragons 5e actual play podcast and argumentative. <laughs> we're all group. we're all on edge. We're surviving the coronavirus somehow. We're, we're some sheltered way. here oh my God, in my so bungalow hard. surrounded by bees <laughs> that are protecting us. We came through the back door of the awesome. bungalow. Yeah. Back door Beagle-o, bungalow. Deuce bungalow. Male, Male bungalow. bungalow. Use B. I don't love it. Yeah. I don't love that we both thought of the same bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, I mean, I like your cowl. It's also snowing <laughs> right now today. Yeah. Which is stupid. <clears throat> yeah. And there's locusts in Africa. And South Asia. Paul Rubens is back. He has a career again. Yeah. It's a dark time. <laughs> it's a weird time. I mean, Paul Rubens is all right. Dude just was jacking off in public when he shouldn't have been. Yeah. Who's I mean, he Paul was. Rubens? He was Pee Wee Herman. Herman. He was tugging his putt in a porn theater. Tugging my putt in in all the wrong places. It was a porn theater. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, of all the places to publicly gank. They're (laughs) cross-legged and like eating your popcorn. (laughs) One piece at a time. (laughs) (laughs) They serve I'm not a fan of the cinematography. (laughs) The lighting is lackluster. I would feel very uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I have to sneeze. Sitting. Yeah, in a public... Being in yeah. that room. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Ugh. I am your host and DM, Seth, <laughs> and around the table, we have our players. I'm Billy, and I play a fuckwit. <laughs> I'm Tomas. I do not play a fuckwit. I'm Lindsay, and I play Pinwin. And I'm Michaela, and I play Gorbel. And that's right. Each week, we record for your listening pleasure. What are we at? 81? Two. 82. Get it right. I can't. He even gave you a clue. Billy's doing this We'd one. maybe die if we had coronavirus. What? Because we're 82. Oh. oh. We're still going by age. Mm. Got it. Sad. That's sad. <laughs> uh, I'm, but yeah, if we no, go by months, bad. then we're, yeah, still going to die of coronavirus. And <laughs> at least we don't have to be alive anymore, right? <laughs> Yeah, oh. I mean bills. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bills. Responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. anything with bill in yeah. it. <laughs> Evidently, yeah. I was like, I'm here. Maybe that's why I'm you're an asshole. It. Yeah. <laughs> Responsibilities. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Billabong clothing. Gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh. Uh, we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> With the number of times that I've had pneumonia previously, I probably will die from coronavirus, though. That's a it's a wholesome thought. Really? I'm just saying, on top of the fact that I, th- I don't know if it was our chat that I said it in, but it, I said it in one of the chats that with the amount of jokes that I've been making about mm. coronavirus, mm. it's only fair that I die from coronavirus at this point. If but- you haven't died from all the other shit you've joked about, then I think you're safe. 
I, Unless I think, it all comes together yeah, and in like a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> corona culmination. Right in your face. Just all the virus. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like a, a just a way higher percentage. So like me joking about dying on a airplane being hijacked by terrorists, like way less I mean, than all of that's percentage. still plausible with it is. coronavirus. It is. But, <laughs> but you're, you're on a plane, everyone has coronavirus, and it's hijacked. And it just metastasized really quickly yeah. as you're crashing. What else have yeah. you joked about? Bears. Beats. Bear attacks. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. I mean, several things. I I don't know that I haven't... Not joked, joked about a tragedy. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it's, it's a coping mechanism, really. Yeah. And it got to a point where... I remember very specifically at a young age, like, not joking about... And not saying certain things because it felt like crossing a line. And then at one point, I just crossed the line once and I was like, well, I'm on the other fuck side. It. Yeah, I'm on the <laughs> other side of it now. I love dark humor. There's yep. always repenting on your deathbed. Are, you, are we going to do something? I don't know. Uh, we have a review. Oh, dope. Ooh. Um, this one is actually from a store, like a straight what? up store. Oh. Oh, uh, just one more in uh, Hudson, Iowa. Just opened up there. This uh, this quaint little bodega that sells <laughs> <laughs> uh, game memorabilia. They have a fucking coliseum in there that's made out of mini stuff, and it's that's really dope. Deep, Brad. Um, and they said these folks are awesome. If you're looking for something to pass the time, you should check them out. Thank you very much to Jeremy over at Just One yeah, More. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, if thank you're you. in the area, go check it out. I don't know if we're awesome. We pass the time. Yeah, I mean, if you're literally looking to just have something to pass the time. Yeah, if you're hold up because time. now's the time. Yeah, to pass now's time. the time to pass the time <laughs> while we're in the quarantine time. Yes. You got time? We'll pass it for you. Quarantine time. Yeah. Passing time <laughs> in the time of Corona. I saw that on Facebook that they have a recipe for a quarantini. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's. Gin and emergency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just surprised that you guys haven't been drinking that before. Yeah. <laughs> like cold and flu season, you still want to party. I have, so, a, I have a problem with beef eater. Otherwise, I would. Now it's time for tonight's Around the Campfire question. <laughs> Is it on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to have a campfire somewhere, okay? <laughs> Might as well be on the beach. Yeah, on this very special episode of it's the OC. It's a tiki OC. fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tonight's question is... Oh, shit. Uh, which battle oh, shit. <laughs> in this campaign has been the most memorable to mm-hmm. your character? The most recent. <laughs> she says struggling to remember what the most recent combat was. Uh, let's start with Willem. Oh, God damn it. Uh, it would have to be when we fought the Rothian army and the dragon that was attacking Moonreach. Okay. Yeah. And what's his face? That big asshole guy that was riding the dragon? Oh, Zerth Mountain Blade. That guy. Almost killed her stag. Mm-hmm. Why was that the most um, memorable to you? stupid epic, and I think mm-hmm. it was the first time that Willem actually fought a dragon? Nice. Mm. Very nice. Tomar, most memorable battle that you've encountered so far. This my, can be pre-podcast as well. My constant battle with dysentery. <laughs> it's been the most memorable for me because I wear armor and it takes like 10 minutes to get off the armor. And when you really got to go, you're just fumbling at the straps, man. And then Penwin has to help. <laughs> He's getting the back straps off. Sometimes you'll you'll blow it out. Before you get it all the way off, and then Pinwin gets. <laughs> we have a running, a, a running Shower. drill now. <laughs> yeah. He he has a code word, and then I. He has scoot a splash back. guard. Willem has a stopwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're running. 
Uh, <laughs> how about actual battle? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, Seth hated that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe fighting the creature in the Baldurak just because we just whooped its ass so thoroughly and it was very cathartic getting vengeance for Maria. It was, and we we were basically just we, it was like a hit and run. It was like an assassination. We just flew by, destroyed it, and then went about our day. And yeah. that was pretty cool, especially something that had like basically ruined your life yeah. <laughs> in the past. Yeah, to just rarely so in life do you get to just savor it. Yeah, and just solve a problem so thoroughly. Just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Take that tax man. (laughs) (laughs) Pinwin, most memorable battle. Jeez. (laughs) Pinwin, most memorable battle. Well, I can't believe that I even had to take time to think. Remember when I turned into a freaking dragon? I do. That was really cool. That was my favorite. I mean, that's the one that like comes to mind because I got to be a dragon, Mm. and that was really cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. Gorble, most memorable battle in the campaign. I would have to say the battle with Lila. Mm-hmm. Throwback. Mm-hmm. That one was rough. I almost died. Yeah, you mm-hmm. did. Did you have like, how much HP did you have left? Like uh, one? Yeah, something oh. terrible. <laughs> but I didn't die. And I killed her. <laughs> also cathartic. Yeah. There's a little guilt. Really? Maybe. It's weird. Hmm. Well, she's probably a werewolf, so. <gasps> you could rekindle the furry romance. Ew. Okay. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are people too. Done. Yeah. <laughs> are they though? <laughs> yeah, we just lost subscribe. our furry base. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, that's really nice. Um, thanks for sharing, all of you. It was really sweet of you to just do that uh, completely, you know, on your own accord and share that information. Um, What's happening? I don't understand. I'm, I'm leaving the podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, uh, let's get started. So, you guys had just exited from the mansion. The secret doorway that had been added <laughs> now okay so now you're trying not to say it in a sexual it's way it's a back door yeah. back door blow out just lean into it Come the on. secret exit um it's secret, no secret tunnel anymore. we've all been through it now. so now you guys out of the poop shoot <laughs> so now you guys are in gorbel's uh back door <laughs> Damn <Lindsay. it. laughs> You're a mom now. <laughs> you should know better. Um, Shame. <laughs> no, now you guys have uh, arrived at the house that she was in as a baby. Of course, when she, you know, once her mother died, she was raised in uh, Tomar's house for a time. Uh, but this was the house that she had uh, lived in as a baby. And you guys are here now, and there are several people in the back. Uh, oh, there's several people? Yes. Oh, I thought there was only one. Me too. Squatters. <clears throat> it kind of appears that way. Get but, those. Oh. Uh, they're two humans, and <clears throat> they, uh, as, as you guys arrive, they both put their, like, they both kind of wheel onto Gorble from across the room, and the one even greets you, saying, oh, hello, Gorble. Who are you? Oh, and they, they, all three of them look at each other and they smile. Well, we're, we're your servants. Is one of you called the fish? He, the man in front, he's like, got like kind of longish blonde hair and kind of a a blonde beard. They all kind of look kind of hardened. Like they, they look like fighting men. He looks over at you, Tomar. Um. No, I am Cornelius. I think you have to ask all of them individually, evidently. <laughs> what nationality is Cornelius? Where are you from? Poland. Oh, we're all from Vildland. I I'm sorry, why are you here and wait, you're how real people? I thought they were like from your imagination. <laughs> Do I recognize them as servants from my mansion? No. Oh. 
You've what? never seen them before. I'm so, I don't know you. I don't know if you have me confused with a different Gorbel. Do they have a regal look about them? Um, no. Okay. They have a more like kind of rough, Potato soldiery sack, vibe to them. Where did you come from? Well, Where did you come from? <laughs> well, originally, me and uh, Reynold and Millicent here, and you can see there's a woman with them. They're all humans. Um, we, we were part of the advance guard to try to find you. Um, we There's a large group of us that have been looking for you. Uh, Who sent you? Well, we kind of came to this conclusion on our own. We uh, Answer her! Who are you working <laughs> for? You, Gorbel. I've <laughs> never met you in my fucking life, so... Well, you may not rem- remember us. You're not us. on my payroll. You may not remember us, but we remember you. And they they all kind of smile, and oh. he pulls uh, his sh- <laughs> like the collar of his shirt down, and you can see a scar. Uh, it looks like it's kind of blackened. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I understand now. We, uh, you, you. Are you a wolf man? Us. You're a wolf man. Oh, fuck. I suppose you could call us that. Oh, oh. okay. I just need one, one second. I am so and excited. I, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, uh. The wolf man prophecies. Guys, quick huddle. Rated R story. Huddle, huddle on me, please. Okay. Um. I slowly huddle and so. staring at the wolf man. <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of freaking the fuck out right now. Um, I think this I... This is bizarre because yeah. this, this arc is not called Consequences. So. I, um, I killed all of these people. <sighs> they don't seem hostile. Do you recognize them now that he's in there? Uh... No, it was pretty dark when I was just a mercy killing people. I'm, I think they're from that group. But oh, no. that's maybe this could work out to our advantage. Maybe. Are maybe. these the are these the people that you killed in the tunnels outside Ramfoot Town? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe they're With happy they're not blade? dead. Yeah. Are these guys werewolves? Um, maybe. We have to invite I've them never, to the club. I've never <laughs> seen the full extent of of my blade capabilities. It's disturbing that they've trailed you here. Right? That's the unsettling part. I hate that. Like but on the plus you. side, Blech. they haven't like attacked us yet, so that seems good. Are any of them like scratching themselves as dogs would? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Like they, with their foot. <laughs> but you do notice that they all kind of like have like a very shaggy presence like they're like Zoinks. they're <laughs> their hairs like uh, like not very neatly trimmed all kind of grown out uh their beards for the men are grown out um and uh, is it like santa claus where it just keeps growing back i don't know when they try it <laughs> i don't think you can tell from a glance uh, <laughs> oh shaves, this is the Pinwin growing hair and then shaves one of the men <laughs> and they yeah they all have kind of like longish fingernails and very like yeah, kind of wolf and wolfish appearances just cool. vaguely wolfenstein can we make this like a, a race on dnd beyond sure <laughs> nice i mean shifter wolf I, I mean, turn. a good race. Oh. <laughs> so what's up? Sorry. <laughs> I turn back. I'm joking. To my servants. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I completely forget what I was about to say. Okay, I turn back to my servants. Is this all of you, or are <laughs> there are there more? There are many more. Where are they at? Different locations where we thought you might show up. That is terrifying. Okay. How did you come to That's this slightly place? better, though. We, is it? We <laughs> learned of your childhood home. and From whom? Well, we've done research. You're we a very <laughs> famous bard. That's true. Uh-huh. We were able to yeah. know that you were from Moonreach because you were one of the wolves Okay, of yeah, but how did you find the specific house? We, I haven't lived here since I was... Your scent... It was between this house and another house, but your scent's all over this village. And recent, Gross. too. Gorble. <laughs> you gotta stop spraying everywhere we go. <laughs> he said, it's fine, no one will see, but we didn't think about smelling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> like a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is it that you want from me? Well, we're your servants. We want to know why you chose us to be your servants. Are you still you <laughs> in this, there? This or? is how it went. Do you remember your? Do you remember anything before serving me? Yes, we all had lives, though they cease to matter now. We have a new purpose. Can we tell if it's possible to remove a curse from them and what would happen if we did so? Uh, I would say Arcana. I, I would say we'd leave the curse <laughs> on. I do not Arcana. 21. 13. You don't? I rolled two. So, um, <laughs> this is such a like a a unique concept for like Freeze magic. Curse. Yeah, like you don't know for sure. Nothing. You, most curses can be broken, but this seems like you'd have to definitely find out more specific information. You haven't heard anything particular about whether or not you could break this since it is based on a magical weapon. I am very intrigued by all of this. <laughs> so, I wouldn't say that I chose you. I believe that destiny chose you. Oh, and they all That's look at each other and destiny. smile. Yeah. Who's destiny? <laughs> <laughs> Where can we find her? <laughs> Uh, the uh, Reynold, he's a he's a, he's a bit larger than the other two, um, and he's got long dark hair, and he he got kind of like a like a hulking frame. He kind of like lumbers forward. We were w- wondering uh, if if there's a place you would like us to gather and 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 set up. We're all kind of just doing the best that we can. Right now, to but now that we've found you, we 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 want to know where we should gather for you. Doing the best I. Quick question: So you're not mad? Why would we be mad? This is one of the most amazing things that's ever happened. We have purpose in our life. We have untold amounts <clears throat> of strength. They're knights of the wolf blood How, blade. I guess. Yeah, I guess I'd be. Which be sounds cool. rad. Super yeah. <laughs> rad. Can. So. Episode name. <laughs> like, how much strength would you say you have? <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Plus racial modifiers. <laughs> what would you have us do to prove our worth? Go. Rassle. <laughs> Rass. No. Um. Like, could you uproot a tree? Yes. Okay. Welcome to the club. <laughs> cool. Um. Do I do I kind of trust them? Do I am I believing their? Am I believing this like faith in me? He's a liar. He's not wolfy at all. <laughs> he looks like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him all alive. Lion ass cat. the wrath of Mr. Buttons. Nineteen. Yeah, I mean they seem all in. pretty honest, and from what you've learned about the blade, it seems you know, and what you've seen in the past, it seems fairly likely that they are being truthful. Is that a Conan reference? Yes. <laughs> yeah, when he was playing Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Buttons. Mr. Buttons. Well, I think I'm gonna have to do a little a little thinking about where I need you guys the most. No, oh, okay. Well would you like us to just wait here? Hey, they might be I, able to show I, their I, worth right now. I know, yeah. but I, I mean like a permanent setup station. Well, I mean... Well, I think we should probably send these guys back to Wolf's Rest. Mm, I don't think we should keep them out of our sight for now. I'm not um, leaving them right now. I'm just saying I don't have a hope for them. Well, they all just kind of like doggedly are staring at you guys. Doggedly. <laughs> nice, <laughs> yeah. nice mm-hmm. touch. Not Wolf's Rest, I mean, just because the stuff I that just recently went on there. want to study them. Well, that, that what better way than having them accompany us? Well, yeah, they're accompanying us. I'm also, not we're them specifically to a place. trying to hunt down items while we're here, so maybe we can test out their sniffy sniffs. So Ooh, I want to find the idea. item in the wall. What? I want to find the item in the wall. Oh, well, you know where that is for sure, right? Yeah, but I don't want to like get a splinter. <laughs> so, a half work. I don't want to get a splinter. 
They hurt in a very different way than other hurt. We can't moisturize. <laughs> Do I remember exactly where I saw my mother put baby Gorbel's pendant? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I go over to that section of wall and I ask one of the servants. Reynold? Mm-hmm. Reynold, sure. The big ass one? Reynold, can you remove this board? Absolutely, Queen. And he walks over Ooh. to the to the wall and he just <laughs> tears a section out. Oh Gorbel, he called you Queen. I loved it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, I dig in and start hunting around. You don't find anything. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, you offended her. <laughs> Instantly. Reynold, I'm looking for an item that would have my baby scent on it. <laughs> <laughs> he sniffs into the past. <laughs> <laughs> there, there seems to have been something here, but... And he kind of like looks around the room and he's like, he's following his nose. It was taken recently. By who? Mm. It's not a good scent. (laughs) It's not. (laughs) It doesn't match the scent in here. It's whomed. (laughs) What does it smell like? Uh, Poopy. (laughs) It smells like boiled leather. Uh, onions. Uh, I know there's a like a, a burned smell. It's a, it's a smell. Chester. <laughs> <laughs> Reeks of Chester. Reeks of Chester. Sounds like Fennec. Where's Fennec? Where is Fennec? Have you seen a man around town? Nah. Uh, yes. Yes. The the man with all the holes in his body. What do you think of him? How does All he smell? All the back doors in his body. He doesn't smell like anything. No. Mm. That's fun. Who smells like onions and <laughs> all that stuff? Mort. I mean, anybody who's been around onions is going to smell like that for a little while. It's just, it's actually just a happy-go-lucky person. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Got my They're throwing not a onions. Bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Okay, so. The pendant is gone. Can we trace can, this scent? Yeah, can you follow the onion scent? Yeah. Boiled if leather onion. If you allow me, my queen. I Go get it, boy. Man. Go Do you know it. how recently this happened? Don't give them orders. They might fuck you up. It's fading, That's but w- within the last day or so. Wow. Do you think you can go trace him? Someone. Absolutely. Did someone see this vision with us? Someone's hacking my visions? <laughs> <laughs> Jacked right in. Uh, what does execute.exe mean? <laughs> <laughs> Very topical. The vision was not encrypted, and it was all because of the Erna Act. I didn't, right. It said Amazon. I clicked on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they spelled it with an E. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon. Um, Amazon. <laughs> Apply directly to the head. I need you to go get that pendant. The pendant. Is that what it is? Yes. It should be green. Can you smell green? <laughs> I smell that's smells a, of green. That's an interesting question. No. Oh. Damn. Give him some acid. I man. will do so. <laughs> Any <laughs> takes off super fast. Should we follow he him? Said no. Or? He's gonna track me down again. Yeah, come he'll, back. he'll come back. Okay. It's like a boomerang. He's a good <laughs> <laughs> wolfarang. Uh, that's the episode name. <laughs> wolfarang. Wolfarang. Well, should we search the rest of the house real quick to see I if there's anything? I guess so. Yeah. All right, give me investigation. Okay. Oh, I'm going to roll left-handed. I'm going to not Ooh. roll it. Oh, no. Oh. What's the one that's not? Reynold, Millicent, and Millicent. Cornelius. And Cornelius. How many more of you are there, you said? Are you talking to Cornelius? Either of them. Okay. Uh, Millicent hasn't spoken yet. She's, she kind of looks at you. We have... Hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. How did you get out of Ramfa Town? We went through these dark tunnels 
and eventually clawed our way when we couldn't get any further. We walked. And you're, you would say you're all grateful? No, we are quite grateful. So there's, there's not one mad person. No. What do you guys awesome. eat? I'm going to go up to Gorble. <laughs> we eat regular food until our transformation. How does that happen? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which. Uh, every time, every, every phase of the moon once. Which uh, moon? Erulan. Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> Me as a DM. <laughs> Wolves of moon's reach. <laughs> Uh, real quick question. Uh, as like a our house rule, do we treat natural ones as just straight up fails? Or you break uh, your neck. No, Try not right. for skills, no. Okay, so because I'm proficient mm-hmm. in investigation, so because of reliable, reliable talent, talent, it counts as a 10 then. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't just count ones as like straight up, nope, fail. So I got a 21 for investigation. Okay. Anybody else investigating? I got 12. I got 7. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. man. And then I t- lean into Gorbel. We need to know more about this sword, because this seems like very dark magic. Like, few things in this world could cause something like this, and none of them are good things. What happens if you stab dead people? Zombie wolves? Who are you asking, Pinwin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the room. Um, I mean, that seems to be the case, Pinwin. Willem, there's not much in this place. It's it's obviously been on use for a long time. Um, though, w- as you're investigating, you do see that there is a um, a hastily drawn symbol uh, on one of the baseboards. It looks like a crow. Oh God. We were and we were told when we got our equipment that there was more to them and that we needed to figure out more and unlock their potential and all this stuff. And Willem said in his Mandoran uh, meeting that we needed to pour over Mandoran's gifts that he gave us. Um, I don't have any of the bloody brawler stuff anymore. I, I locked it. I broke it down to make my new gear. So whatever power was in it before is not there anymore. But all this shit, we got to figure out what this shit is and why it's doing it. I mean, am I? What am I supposed to do with them now? I don't know. I mean, they're they're claiming that their lives are better, but for all we know, they're they have no control of their own faculties and are like mindless right. husks. And that's not a good way to. No, be. that's not. But I mean, uh, hundreds of did I really kill hundreds? There were a lot of corpses down there. I'm one girl, though. <laughs> and you've killed quite a few people, at least since oh. then. I don't know with how many you killed with the sword, but but I'm the asshole. I mean, <laughs> this does kind of shine a really bad light on me. Nah. Are you sure this arc is in consequences? <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind checking again, please? <laughs> Oh shit, guys! This is oh <laughs> shit. Real Sorry. bad. Sorry, I had the the book upside down. <laughs> M O A R consequences. <laughs> uh, this is just something to think about. We have a bunch of stuff. We don't know how all of it works. Um, we need to be sure before we go into the final conflict what we have on our play here. You know what I was just thinking about the other night around the campfire. I was thinking about how crazy that fight with Lila was. I killed her with this. Oh, no. She could be one of your servants. I know. Well, that would be a really good way to determine, like, how much of her is still her. She's so good at lying. Mm. But, I mean, we don't know these guys' personalities. Like, we don't know it. That's true. Like, I'm saying if she shows up, then... It'll be more likely for us to tell how it's affecting her and everyone else and how nefarious it is or isn't. Be able to get a, a lot more clear baseline. Do you think... Uh, am I going to have to kill all these people again if it does turn out to be evil? I don't know. 
Or we could destroy the sword and then they might all die. Oh. Gonna need y'all to just gather up in this volcano real quick. <laughs> come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> just oh. throwing bones yeah. into a volcano for them to <laughs> leap, leap after. <gasps> oh, stop. They all they all do the Terminator thumbs up though as they melt into the lava. <laughs> you, just do, you do the the sounder, but for each one, <laughs> you keep taking them out back. I'm uh, out of character, real sad. <laughs> just peanut butter at the end of the bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> crossbow, it's Gorbel's crossbow. <laughs> crossbow. <laughs> Auto reloads. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> See, yeah. I just pictured <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured lemmings. Yeah. Which was way cuter and less sad. Yeah, these aren't as cute as that. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh does this symbol look familiar to you or anybody, I guess? And I point to the crow on the floor. Yes. That Very was, much so. That was on Herstag's cursed sword. Herstag, cursed <laughs> TM. Um, hmm? was it on my book? No. It was also on Herstag's ring. Yeah. Ring, which no. unlocked something, right? Mm-hmm. Which well, you were there for. I was not there for. In my mother's house. Mm-hmm. That's where you found the book. What happened to Herstag's ring? You guys buried him with it. Fuck. <laughs> well, time to we exhume We burned him with it. <laughs> we can't exhume fucking ash. Burn stag. Burn stag, We're yep. just trying to grab little pieces. Hmm. Well, it's like no. lock and key. The key. The ring's still there in the ashes. <laughs> yeah. I, can I go and investigate that symbol? Yeah. Is it like recessed like a ring would go in? Uh, yes, it is. Fuck. I'm going to take an hour and replicate the shape of the ring. Using my channel divinity. While he's doing okay. that for an hour, I'm going to converse with the wolf people, Cornelius and Millicent, mm-hmm. and just kind of s- study them as I can without Lenny actually. Like, <laughs> You're just like holding up their arm, like uh-huh. with yeah. like a, <laughs> like calipers, like. calipers. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> exactly what I was imagining. And I have like the jeweler <laughs> like, <laughs> thing in one eye, just like mm. examining their haunches, <laughs> yes. checking for hip dysplasia. Yeah. <laughs> now. Jump. <laughs> How high can you jump? Uh, yeah, and just like conversing with them and asking them like general like litmus test questions mm-hmm. about their uh, agency, I guess. Gotcha. Uh, and how dedicated or committed to Gorbel they are and stuff like that. And, see- and like and like their general desires and like uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So you learn. Um, f- they're very f- you know forthright. And uh, forthcoming, very fourth Reich. What? <laughs> They're very forthcoming with their uh, uh, answers. They do remember their previous lives, uh, but they, some of them tried to return to normalcy, but they felt that they had um, this compulsion. Compulsions is that? I, yeah. it's funny because I literally just when you pause there, I was like, compulsions <laughs> are is the word that I was looking for. Okay. And they all kind of decided that they had this in them and they had to seek it out. Hmm. So none of them, like, are holding on to their past lives or, like... No, it seems like they've largely abandoned them. That's sad. They aren't. (laughs) Right. (laughs) But just looking outside or, you know, looking in... It's kind of sad. Be kind of cool, though. Yeah. No, I'm still very on board with all of this. <laughs> like, so, like, not surprisingly, I guess, with Willem's moral ambiguity. But, yeah. I, yeah, I just continue to study them. Pinwin and Gorbel, what are you doing at the moment? I was investigating. Investigating the spot? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it definitely is like a little recessed spot, much like the, in your uh, when you encountered your mother's house. I touch it. Nothing happens. Okay. I'm gonna walk up to him. I'm gonna push him. <laughs> Was I ever over here very often? Or no? Mm, probably not. No. Have I been here? No. no. So I'm probably just like looking around, seeing if I, I don't know, taking it all in. Yeah. If it, I find anything interesting. It looks like it at one point would have been a you know a decent house, but it obviously has been unused for a long time. I mean, even longer than 
before the village was abandoned. Is there any insight into who Gorbel is now from her house? Um, no, not really. Uh, there's, it was, it seems like... Like she likes really opulent, extravagant stuff. Is yeah, there anything no, like that there? Just it, unremarkable? Yeah, it, it doesn't seem... Because in a way, is, that's an answer. It, well, okay. I mean, it definitely <laughs> seems like the person who lived here spruced it up quite a bit, or did, but it's, you know, that's faded now. It's all been kind of abandoned. I was just wondering if the reason why she likes fancy stuff now is because she didn't have it growing up, you know? Um, I don't know. We I guess. grew up basically in the same place. Like, yeah. I grew up in your house. It's bred into her. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have the nicest house. I noticed. <laughs> Whoa, shots fired. <laughs> nice than yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what are these fucking doilies? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, over that hour, um, b- before the hour uh, passes, uh, Reynold uh, returns. I have a question. Yeah. Can I feel anything with with these servants? Do I feel like any kind of either emotional or even kind of like a... Magnetic any just kind of like... A mother-son feeling? Uh, you don't. You don't feel like anything I- internally. Okay. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It might be worth investigating. Ooh. Are you telling me to roll? No. Oh. Okay. Sorry, but I, okay. I realize that, that could be confusing. Uh, Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> might be worth backdooring. <laughs> um, and he returns. My queen, I discovered the scent goes to a a cave uh, outside of the village. Uh, I could not access. The door was closed to me. But oh, I brought fuck. you this badger. <laughs> <laughs> it's still twitching. I should have told him the song. Ah, We couldn't have known. I mean, Willem seems like he could have known, but we couldn't have known that it was definitely going to be on the case. That's true. I mean, it makes sense with yeah. everything that you saw in your vision. Yeah. Hindsight. So if Willem was able to put two and two together... Tomar probably could have put two and two together. I don't know. I don't have the best intelligence score. Let's not overly assume my <laughs> mental faculties. <laughs> Me head buddy strong guy. <laughs> Willem will remember this. Yeah. Well, Reynold, thank you so much for tracking that down. He drops down to one knee. You're quite welcome. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's insulting. Stop. <laughs> Do you like that, Reynold? He, like, flares his nostrils. What if she does it? Do it. I have more respect for you than that. What I'm, if he wants I'm praise? I'm not a dog. Okay. So tell me, <laughs> tell me a little bit more about this transformation. Uh, we awakened in the caves, in the tunnels beneath uh, Roundfoot Town. Did you awaken as you are right now? Uh, in my current form, yes. Were you scared? Uh, it was confusing. I wasn't scared, but... Uh, no, I was a <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was a little alarming. None of us knew what had happened. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember her slaying you? Uh, oh I, oh I, my God, Tomar! I, I don't know what you mean. No, oh, yeah, no. none of us know what you mean. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Willem remembers Tomar's exclamation of non thinky <laughs> power. Tell me about tell me about This always trans- happens when I'm channel divini- div- div- divining div- dividing <laughs> Chan- Chan- whenever I'm chanandler binging <laughs> chanandler bonging chandler binging <laughs> Tell me about your other form. Uh well when uh, Erulan is full in the sky for those typically two days I and the others, we transform into, well, basically our truest form. We are m- like animals. Do you travel as bipeds or quadrupeds? We we walk on two feet, but we can run on all fours if we prefer. If it's only two days out of the month, wouldn't your truest form be the other form? 
Sorry, it I'm, is when we feel. I'm channeling. Yeah. Ignore me. Tomar, they're gonna. When we feel the most like, in part. tune. And <laughs> how does your behavior change during that time? Uh, we are not fully uh, with hu- human wants Cognizant. and desires. It's it's a it's a different mental state. It mm. gets cloudy. I don't I don't n- know exactly, but instincts take over. Yes. And yes. you like this time? It's. There's just something about it. It, it, as it, I can't remember fully what it is, but I know that I feel very powerful in that time. I mean, don't you enjoy tripping balls and just throwing inhibitions to the wind? Oh my god, yeah. Acting only on instinct? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> very long pause there. Now, I, I understand how you feel towards me. How do you feel towards these people? Hmm. I don't feel any particular way. I think they are your companions, I assume. Would you, how how would you prefer I feel towards your companions? Protective. He looks at everyone. All right. And the other, the other two nod as well. (laughs) I have another question. Any question you ask will be answered. Have you met another one of your kind named Lila? Yes. Bombshell. What's her deal like? What's she up to? (laughs) (laughs) Nothing to care. Is she still working out? (laughs) (laughs) She is uh, one of those who uh, did not return after we all met as the form that we are now. She was one that did not come back from her previous life. Almost all of us did. What? You mean what she... Mean? Sh- she's we, dead? No. When we first escaped, we all tried to return to our normal lives. Oh. Um, but this calling was too strong. Oh, she was the first to fully embrace the new... The new new. Perhaps she just... She left and and never came back, so we haven't haven't seen her. That's disconcerting. Uh, is there anything else you require from us? What should we do? I want you to stick with us for right now. It is done, and they look at each other and they all nod. Okay. Um, what else do we need in the town? I'm still sitting there concentrating. Oh, yeah. That. The hour finally passes. It was pretty close, and you have formed that same ring shape. I don't know if it's ma- if it needs to be magical, but the shape of the ring, at least, will fit into that recess. Oh, my God. That spot. looks exactly like his. Is it like cardboard? <laughs> no. It's made of metal. All right. That's good. I take it over to the symbol on the wall, mm-hmm. and I fit it in. On the floor? Yeah, it's like, yeah. No. Like the floorboard. Right? Yeah, it's uh, the baseboard of the wall. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like a wall. Yeah. You <gasps> Is this going to be a secret door? You uh, fit it in and nothing happens. Uh, Fuck. Uh, turn it? <gasps> it doesn't turn. Uh, son of a bitch. Do you what? have to say something? Push harder. I'm trying Good to dog. think of... Did, did Herstag have a command <laughs> word that he used to activate the sword or anything? Uh, no. It I've just... Wrong. I saw her stag use this ring before, correct? Yeah. I'm trying to remember he just, if I saw anything special about it. Well, earth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, his ring was made of stone, and it seemed to be magically crafted. So we have to go to the cave, huh? Well, we also have to investigate Tomar's home, apparently, because there may be something there yep. that's hidden. Yeah, we'll swing by. Yep, yeah, on our way to the cave. What's in the cave? Have I been to that cave? Pin we have. It's the cave. We, we <laughs> had a I lot been? of important shit happen there. Have yes. I been there? Yes. We <laughs> fought a huge creature underneath the fountain there. I forgot there. about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing and with Lewin. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yep. was, I mean, I wasn't in, with Lewin, so technically I just like you were hung there, out though. there a little bit. You had a whole episode with the Chaos Company. I know. That was, <laughs> that was pretty fun, I think. Wait, didn't I get really hurt? Continue. (laughs) (laughs) So your ring's not doing shit. I'm sorry, it looks really good, though. Thanks. I mean, I'm still gonna wear it. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, be my guest. 
Why are you upset about it? No, I'm just saying, like, you just took ownership of it. And oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were giving it to me. Do you want it back? You did hand no, it to him. No, I, is that even going to fit your finger? It'll fit my finger better than yours. What? I mean, okay, try. I don't want it. No, try. No, you try can to have fit it. that on your finger. Is this you can like take the it. glass slipper? I walk story? out of the shack. <laughs> <laughs> shack. <laughs> out of the whore shack. <laughs> I use and the front we door. we walk out bickering still. <coughs> okay, gotcha. You guys are standing in the in the road in the street, and the uh, the three of your servants follow you. Um, they, they kind of keep a a distant but protective radius around you guys, and they seem to be constantly. <laughs> Can you ask this one of them so to cool. try and hunt down Fennec, since they already know him? They know who he is. Well, he doesn't have a scent. That's true. Well, they can still see. <laughs> can, they, can they follow a lack of scent? <laughs> like, there is a void where a scent should be here. <laughs> the man with holes. <laughs> yes. Fennec. The holy man. <laughs> yes. Not me. The other one. <laughs> Do you think you'd be able to find him? Oh, yes. That'd be easy. He can, mostly stays at his house. Can you bring him to us? Uh, Not can, aggressively. I, I can tr- I can try. And uh, Cornelius runs off. Okay, let's go to your house and sniff around. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys go to Tomar's. Yeah. Uh, Has more yeah. torture mm-hmm. doing. Uh, it's seen better days, obviously, but it's about doing about as well as the rest of the town after it got like halfway demolished by. Um, uh, the acid and stuff that has receded. Although one thing I probably should have mentioned as you guys walk outside is you can see this weird in the in the sky. There's like this weird red kind of magical energy kind of floating in in like no jewels around the village. Has that always been there? Did you say no jewels? Is that no jewels? Yeah, nodules. Nodules. No jewels. I'm is gonna, that pretty nodules? sure it's only nodules. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, British people say nodules. <laughs> what? Where are you from, Seth? British. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Japan. <laughs> I'm from Deutschland. <laughs> um, is that the protective layer, like from when I chose to save the town? Because you said there was like a red protective layer thing. Probably. Oh. Cool. And Pinwin keeps that information to himself. <laughs> Yeah, look at that red stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I wonder what Shadow would make of these uh, lycanthropic soldiers. I know, I was just soldiers. thinking yeah. about how they'd get along. It sucks I left them back at home. I wonder if he would think they're I'm never doing that again. It kind of sucks that I don't get to name them. Yeah. I mean, you own them. It's kind of cool they have your, an entourage, Honestly, though. at this point, the way that they've been reacting to you, I think they would be A-OK with you renaming them. I mean, what would seems... you rename Cornelius? Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is Bobby the other Wolfenheim. one... <laughs> and the other one's Bobby, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're just all Bobby. <laughs> it's a collective Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's come with me. <laughs> I summon Bobby. Uh, so yeah, you guys enter <laughs> Tomar's uh, oh, childhood sword. home, and uh, it looks exactly the same as the last time you were there, Tomar. Okay. Well, so I've explored my house pretty thoroughly before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm. It's pretty inquisitive growing up, uh, but I will go to the the main bedroom and I will start pouring around looking for hidden latches knocking on walls and stuff give me an investigation check yes Gorbel Reynold yes can you find his scent in this house and find anything that could be hidden in the walls floorboards well I find his scent all over this place but it's very faint Whatever my scent is strong. It is strong now. Is this your childhood home? Yep. 
That would probably be why. Are there some stronger spots? <laughs> There's a mi- mix of scents here. There's also... Do you smell onions? I smell the same scent. <gasps> hmm. Faint. Can you tell the difference between genders with your scent? I cannot. Okay. Well, my mom always had a hint of lavender that she wore. I smell that very faintly in here as well. Can you smell it strongly somewhere in here? <laughs> I got a 22, by the way. 22? Uh, you, uh, you don't find anything yourself, but once you've said that, he starts... <laughs> and he's, like, looking around, and he stares up at the ceiling, um... At, at like a specific spot in the ceiling where there's just like a hook hanging down. I tug on it. Oh, it's the ceiling. You <laughs> float up there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you float up there and you tug on the hook and you hear a... <laughs> but nothing else happens. Oh. Where did the sound come from? Uh, somewhere else in the house. I go to where I feel like it came from. Okay. So you, <laughs> you go up the stairs and... Underneath where your parents' bed had been at one point, um, there is a small rise in the <laughs> There's a digital boards. camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there's a small rise in the floorboard as if it's popped up. All right. I kick it up. It is, there is an empty spot underneath there. I, Fuck. I climb in and I sleep. <laughs> it's not big enough. Oh, I break the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Do you need me to go in? Will I fit? No. Oh, it's just, just a, kidding. It's just a recessed spot that's empty. If oh. fits, Gorble, can you send... <laughs> well, I mean, I, we can probably assume what's going on. They probably took it to the, the cave. I was going to say to send one of the wolf nights, but... What would have been in there? I don't know. I didn't see her in the vision. I followed Dad. Can you smell what was in there? Does it smell like metal, wood, paper? Uh, smells poopy. Like teen spirit. Egg salad sandwich. Well, I smell the lavender. Do it on his own, you guys. And I and I smell the 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 onion smell. Ew. That I smelled Who before. Who is this guy? I don't know. Take a fucking shower. And I there's something dead. I smell. Mm. Did you smell that in Gorbel's house? Uh, faintly, but it's very strong here. Huh. Mm. Dead. As if the dead thing is still in here? No, or it's like, been moved. Or like this, like they went to Gorbel's house first, then came here, so it's still stronger here because less time has passed since they left this place. I would say yes. It seems like everything that we need is being collected by somebody and taken to the cave. I'm assuming to the well that you saw uh, Gorm drop that sack into. Fast travel to the cave? Fast travel to the cave? Yeah. Are there any, fast travel to are there the any fast enemies the nearby? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the sword Are guy? we over encumbered? Can we <laughs> fast travel to the cave? Who is the guy that's the sword? Who's all dead? Yeah. Is that him? Because he's dead. Oh, God. I don't remember what vessel he even is in anymore. Well, he's totally dead. What was his last vessel that he was in? The last vessel he was in was... Was that uh, Super Old Man? No, it was uh, the the Anstander guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And I had such a connection with him, Mm -hmm. too. (laughs) Did that that smell like onions? I don't recall. I don't think we asked what he smelled like when we <laughs> when we saw him. I'm just trying to think of. We like need to start though. Evidently, yeah. yeah. what's now? this guy smell like? Now that we've got Snoop <laughs> quarter super pounder sniffers. cheese. <laughs> I love smells. Can we take them with us when we fast travel to the cave? Who? Fast All travel of to the cave. My servants. Yeah, probably. Okay. Unless they're, they're I'm enemies. Right. I, I'm assuming you guys are. Fast traveling as in jumping, just jumping ahead is what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Fast travel to the caves. All right. Um, I mean, we can't use the literal video game mechanics yeah. right now. No, no. no, we all took meth and we're fast <laughs> traveling. Unless so you, there was I call it taking a ride. going to happen along the way. But. So you guys <laughs> exit the village and head towards the cave. You access the door. And you're finally inside. And Reynold. Wow, that was fast. 
That was incredibly fast <laughs> we traveling. We made good time. We were surprisingly on task. Super good time. No distractions. Mm, now we're exactly on time as to when it would have been if we just traveled normally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll never know because it was so fast. Uh, Reynald sniffs around and Millicent begins sm- sniffing around as well. <laughs> it's it's very strong here. The onion or the dead smell? All of it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you lead us to it? Yes. Any him and Millicent start like walking kind of quickly down the path. Well, we've so got, Cornelius like, is still gone. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we have like three just like booby trap shields <laughs> <laughs> leading us into the cave, <laughs> just getting riddled with scythes <laughs> flying out of the walls. And they lead you <laughs> down down the pathway, not towards the <laughs> um, the original like pond room that you guys found as children but the one in the vision that your parents followed down and eventually they lead you to the lip of a well Mm. (laughs) it's down there Oh, is there like a ladder or a rope Uh, not that you see how big of a well is it Uh, it's like eight feet in circumference is it scary? Who wants it's to go like the ring? It's completely dark. Is it made Why of would it be in there? Oh, Who creepy. wants to go down with me? I can take him. I'm oh going. my god! I'm oh not. yeah, Willem can just walk down. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to hop on, Penguin? Sure. Is it made of stone? Uh, yes. Well, but I don't want to leave Gorble. I have two protectors. You're not coming down. I. Someone's gonna have to carry me. I, I was gonna say, if it's made of stone, can can we look and see like? Are there specific stones where you could find purchase to, like, climb down? No, it looks like it goes down, uh, like, a few feet and then just opens up into darkness. Okay. Uh. It does not appear that someone was designed to go in there, necessarily. Uh. Could I parkour my way down with my cat boots? You could try. <laughs> <laughs> How about I take you down and then I take Gorble down? I'll come back up. That's two trips. Yeah, I I can take Pinwin down. Oh, that's, that's true. true. He weighs like nothing. Yeah. What about? Could I try the jumping and then see? And then if it doesn't pan Absolutely. out, you catch me. Okay. Uh, uh, well, no, not to that. Oh, no. <laughs> what about Raymond? Unless you go Nelson? down first. Yeah, I can go down. First. Have them yeah. have them stay and guard. Stay. <laughs> Oh, you don't know. Are. <laughs> we don't know. No, I. We you do. Should you you test don't. It though? That's that low charisma for you. <laughs> it's the basics. All right, then you do it. Guys, can you stay up here and guard the well? Absolutely. Thank you. And it's they. Like, it's not even a charisma thing, you asshole. Very good. Ra- good. Ra- <laughs> Reynold <laughs> stands in front of the well, and Millicent goes to stand in front of the the doorway. But maybe should we tell them to come get us if they like hear us screaming? <laughs> we'll have them hop to their doom to <laughs> come get us when we have troubles. They can probably like like pounce their way down. But yeah, we should totally assume that Pinwin. I agree. I think we can handle whatever's down here. That's true. Well, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we've, we've fought many things. That's true. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a candle okay. out of my pack. All right. Candle in the wind. And I'm going to cast, I'm going to light it, and I'm going to cast Mage Hand. Okay. And I'm going to have oh. my Mage Hand hold the candle. Okay. That's a fun picture. And I'm going to uh, get up on the lip of the well and start, like, walking down. Okay. And have my mage hand out as far as it can go, which is 30 feet in front of me okay. down the well. I hold gotcha. my arms out for Gorble. I do want to try the climbing thing. And then I float down. Okay, uh, Willem, you find that about 10 feet down, the stone ends, and it's just a huge expanse of darkness. The mage hand's light can't even penetrate this darkness. Wow. Like the candle. So does it... So it's ten feet down, and then it just opens up like a cavern. Seems like, like it. it. Is it does. magical darkness? It so is magical darkness. So it's only ten feet. Oh, it's not super deep. No, no, no just no, until you get not, basically <laughs> like a ch- think of it like a chimney that like, but then opens up into this like huge area. Okay, is are there you still gonna, water in it? Are you gonna? What's that? Is there still water in it? You don't hear water, or it doesn't smell like water in here either. 
So I, I old and a little rancid. So okay. I give the guys a heads up that uh, I can't see the bottom, and it opens up into a huge expanse, kind of like the cavern that we fell into uh, before and fought that huge monster. So oh, may- shoot. Maybe, maybe just uh, be careful. So probably not jumping then. Yeah, don't. Can do you that. come get me? I look up at to- <laughs> Tomar and Gorbul like it on like. I thought you were carrying Ben one. I was gonna. He didn't jump want down. me to. I was gonna jump down. He was gonna catch me as like a backup plan. <laughs> oh God damn it! Now we have to go back and get Pinwin. <laughs> I mean, technically, you could probably just jump onto Tomar's shoulders. Isn't that too much? Probably no. not. You don't weigh very much. Okay, double piggyback ride. I'm well, holding Gorbel yeah. in my I'm arms. Front loaded. <laughs> double front <laughs> piggyback ride. Yeah, yes. sure. Okay. Well, I'll jump down on top of Gorbel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So you start floating down, and then what are you doing? I'm. Finding the perimeter. Okay. Just Are you cer- walking along on the ceiling? Okay. Yeah. Assuming it's the ceiling. Yeah. And just like fanning out in a circle to try and find the, get our bearings. Okay. You, uh, you walk in, in different directions for a while, but you can't seem to find like a slope of any kind. Okay. Can we tell where the darkness is originating from? Uh, how would you do that? I don't know. Can we uh, to explain the nature? Of oh, I, I didn't know if you met with like a spell or something. Uh, no, it is very. Your dark vision cannot penetrate it. Um, so without a would magical radiant light penetrate it? You can try. I'll cast holy weapon on um my light crossbow. Okay, <laughs> and then I'll hold it out like a flashlight. You want to read the description for me? You imbue a weapon you touch with holy power until the spell ends. A weapon emits bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. In addition, weapon attacks made with it deal an extra 2d8 radiant damage on a hit. If the weapon isn't already a magic weapon, it becomes one for the duration. As a bonus action on your turn, you can dismiss the spell. I'm having flashbacks to our Bloodborne playthrough. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you it lights up, but it seems less effective than what normally would happen. It seems like you get about a ten foot radius okay. with with this spell, but much more than you had. Okay. All right. Well, I'll hold it out in front of me as I. Well, why do you hold this? <laughs> Does, <laughs> I'm on top. Out. Does this darkness <laughs> trigger my night spirit? Um, what? <laughs> become invisible in complete darkness as an action and remain so Ooh. until taking another action. Uh, yeah, if you would like to. I would. Okay. So you are invisible. I'm also emitting an orange glow, as yeah. it were. Orange glow. Radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mays here. <laughs> Just let your orange glow. Um, so yeah, you guys start floating down. You float down for what feels to be like a few hundred feet before you finally reach the bottom. And the bottom looks slick with some sort of viscous Ew. liquid. Ugh. And do you want to touch down? Like deep or just? No, nah, it doesn't look deep. I'm going to float over it. I'm not going to step in it. Okay. But we can see the surface of the ground. Yeah, it's it looks like it's made of polished stone, but also has all this stuff covering it, as if there's been something, a lot of some things dragged around here. Mm-hmm. Gross! What is that? Yeah, can we smell anything? It smells horrible. Oh. Super rancid. Not like anything we smell. Smells dead, kind of. Can we see anything from here? Uh, other than the ground, no. Is there a wall nearby? Not within your radius of seeing. You'd have to fly around. Well, I don't want to fly around aimlessly. Where should I go? Um, can I? I, uh, hmm. I can't see very far. Can I, I roll know. survival? See if I sense anything? You can, yeah. Okay. All oh, right, that's, that's okay. 25. Um, yeah, you get a a vague sense of, even in this, like, magically concocted darkness, 
you get a kind of an idea. You you can hear how the reverberations are in this place. It seems very cavernous, but you you feel that uh, there's a wall semi close by to you guys' right, okay. closer than the rest. I think there's a wall to our right that's nearby. All right, I'll go that way. All right. You head that way, and after a moment, you reach a wall. But also on the wall is a constructed doorway that appears to be designed to look like a open mouth of a demon. Oh. From the ceiling, can I see Doesn't Tomar's like glow? Uh, no, it kind of, they disappear after they got past a certain radius, so you just saw their light kind of snuff out. But they were, it was because they were going in that direction? Mm-hmm. Can mm-hmm. I just follow from the ceiling? Oh, no, you wouldn't be able to see where they were that far. Once they got past a certain, because they went down a few hundred feet, oh. it like, once they got past like 10 feet beyond you, they just kind of disappeared. You could okay. still hear them, though. He calls me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep going in one direction to try and find a a wall or okay. where, it, where it meets another whatever. Gotcha. <laughs> what are the chances of us just hitting smack dab on this one doorway? Are there more? I don't know. Can we follow the wall around a little bit? Because I don't want to go through that door. We just that looks like a door we Willem. should probably go in. But, I mean, yeah, I can float around the circumference, see how big it is. So you guys continue down looking around, the, like, yeah. along the wall? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Um, after about a hundred more feet, you find another identical door. Demon mouth thing? Mm-hmm. Same mm-hmm. demon? Is it a rounded wall? Is uh, it natural? It looks like it's starting to curve, but it does seem not natural necessarily. So someone constructed all this? Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah, same demon? Yeah, looks pretty, I mean... Yeah, Demon Greg. <laughs> recognize the depiction of the demon. Mm, give me history. Nineteen. Twelve. Fourteen. Mm, no. <laughs> it just looks like a demon. Okay. Aww. Well, I'll keep going. Wait. What if this is the same one? What? What if we already went in a circle? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's. Wouldn't we be able to tell? Let's make a mark. I can't tell or... shit in here. Oh yeah, make a marker. Um. Do you have anything? <sighs> Wait, I, pull I have chalk. You have but chalk? can we see the chalk? Why wouldn't we? Make a chalk mark. Where'd you get chalk? Remember, I have that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it this whole time. Is I've this a secret? Never seen since the very beginning. I just don't utilize it a whole lot. I've got a lot of things, you know? I have people in my bag. Well, I don't think anyone will say this is a major plot hole, so go ahead and write whatever you want. No, I totally do have chalk. I remember that. Like that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I, don't, I just plan. don't care where it came from. <laughs> so I mean, just make the mark pen when yeah, we see you have chalk. I'm just telling you, you, I have chalk. I wasn't trying to... <laughs> <laughs> you hear off Bad in the distance, you. for fuck's sake, just use it already. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you, you uh, are able to discern through their voices, uh, Willem, in kind of the general direction that they're in, and you're able to eventually find a wall that kind of slopes down. And I write what do you up. draw? Uh, hurt with a P in it. <laughs> and you don't don't bother to number them if there are multiple <laughs> or anything like that. Do you begin no. to ascend downly? Yes, <laughs> I I do. Okay. Does Penguin's paintbrush make glowy things? I was going to do that, but since you cast your thing, I didn't. I was gonna like paint. Like I just meant instead of using chalk, if oh you could paint something and it would. Isn't that like kind of meta gaming? I'm I'm just asking. You would you were able to use whatever paint that you have um, oh, available remember, to you. Uh, I picked up that glow in the dark paint when, <laughs> when we were in, when we were in at Wolf's that one rest. rave. <laughs> um, I don't remember that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, because the I, glow I stick the <laughs> paint, <laughs> just breaking glow sticks on stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So unless you had some glowy paint or something, then probably not. Would there be any reason I would have glowy paint? 
No. no. <laughs> I was just asking out of curiosity because be I don't fun. know. I didn't know the nature of what That'd the painted awesome. things looked like or anything. Cool. Yeah, they take on the shape of what it, using whatever paint it was. But so if it was like ketchup, you'd yeah, yeah, ah. yeah be make a ketchup. And I didn't even I didn't even know if you needed a tangible thing to paint with or if you just moved the brush and it would just create. You know, yeah, need a tangible yeah. thing. Okay, magical. Mickey. And there's mm-hmm. charges on it. I can't like. There's a limit. To mm-hmm. how much? Oh. Yeah, you should have that written down. I do. Was it three times I just wasn't reading. I think it. so. All right, moving on. Yes. All right. Good so you head down, Willem, um, and you guys continue along the wall. Mm-hmm. All right, you go like another hundred feet or so, and you arrive at another door with a. Heart with a P. Oh no! Chalked on bitch. it. So there's just one we door. We are circling. Okay. Well, that simplifies it. Yeah. Willem, you eventually get close enough, pretty close, that you see the light. Yeah, you've been following, and you finally reach the, the ground. You heard them kind of like moving in a, around in a direction, but Where the hell is Willem anyway? He kind of just. It, who said that? It's Willem. Oh. Where are you? I'm invisible. Oh. The oh, darkness. The okay. darkness triggered my night spirit. <laughs> <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> anyway. Just got done watching the director's cut of The Crow. <laughs> <laughs> the one where he shows him die in it. <laughs> anyway. R.I.P. <Broken>. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's a demon door. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. Do so you recognize this demon? Do I? Uh, give me history. Roll better. It's not going to be... Great. Guidance. I slap him. Ooh, okay. Well, I slap the invisible sound. Do I hit it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That. Do you have to touch him for guidance? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think you'd be able to give him guidance. Then. Okay. okay. Well, Bardic inspiration. What, is I that a D12 at this point? D10. D10. 29. Yeah. So when you guys were growing up in Moonreach, uh, a demon lived there <laughs> <laughs> that Greg. you all forgot. <laughs> <Greg. Willem. laughs> um, Mort. There, some of the older people back before the war. Um, you, you befriend you. You would like to talk to a lot of different people in town, Willem. Just kind of learn a little bit about people, kind of their thoughts, their you know hopes and dreams, stuff like that. Just to get a, a better sense of who different people were. Uh, that always intrigued you. And I always converse with them when because I worked in the stables a lot. Yeah, and, and so a lot of people made, would come in and yeah, just and a conversation. Uh, yeah, and there was one older woman uh, that. Uh, she showed me the way. <laughs> no, she was she's pretty old. Um, <laughs> so not they're a, not dead, Seth. <laughs> not Might as well be. <laughs> this is um, Robinson's situation. They still gotcha. want that okay. sweet, sweet half elf. Um, okay, moving Hugs. on. <laughs> Hugs. Um, Hugs. Of course. Uh, there was uh, an older woman. You knew her as uh, Miss Fernweather, oh. and uh, she lived in a little little house at the kind of the borders of Moonreach. Um, was she a Fernweather friend? <laughs> uh, to you, no. She was very kind. Um, she didn't. She wasn't able to ride uh, anymore because her bones hurt so much. So she would just come by uh, and just like visit with the horses. But she would tell you all all sorts of stories about things from her youth. Um, and she had a uh, a demon. <laughs> a demon. Um, she had a interesting story that she claimed she had gone to different planes when she was Ooh. much younger, and she said she had encountered some uh, like nefarious beasts. But she did say that she always believed that there was a uh, a demon living somewhere in Moonreach. Mm-hmm. She didn't have a name for it. But she very much believed that it was somewhere. You always thought it was kind of like, okay, whatever, old lady, but at least she's nice kind of thing. But, yeah, she would say it almost as if she it was a fact. And it matches the description. Her description matches the gate yeah. that we're looking at. Yeah, uh, it was supposed to be like a, uh, like a big demon with a, like a roaring, like, mouth. Like, it was just like this hell demon. And... She always claimed that she could hear roars, 
Sometimes. Did you ever eat any of her cookies? Because <laughs> they bet they tasted weird. <laughs> yeah, she always said that they were chocolate chip, but they were always oatmeal and raisin. <laughs> uh, did she have any like stories about the demon? Like, uh, no, but she she did very much specify that she know she'd know a demon when she heard a demon, and she f- occasionally heard its roars from deep in the earth. Takes one to know one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what if she was like, like she's part of the demon and like she's connected by a tendril <laughs> that goes all the way down and she's oh. just like an appendage. Just <laughs> That's some anime shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's way cool. <laughs> that should be what That's it is. That's some kingdom death shit. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. It's like a horrible little puppet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I wax... <laughs> nostalgic, yeah. Uh, about this old lady that I told me about how she thought there was a demon in Moonreach, but no other viable information or useful uh, info. Can we tell if the store is uh, the back door or? Oh my gosh. It's indiscernible. Okay. Mm. Back door. Well, I think we should wow. enter it because this is the only door I could find in here. Yep, it's the only P. Okay. <laughs> Boo. All right. Uh, what if something copied Penwin's P? I hate that thought. Nah. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> it's well, easy to it's, imagine. Yeah. There isn't an actual door. It's just a like a door. Oh, oh, an entryway. Yeah. Okay. It is the maw, right? I'm yes, assuming. The okay. maw. The inside of the mouth. How tall is the door? About 10 feet. Big um, door. Do you guys want me to scout ahead? Please. Yep. I can take the rear and see if I can find anything behind it. No one has so far stepped on the floor, right? Mm-mm. I don't know if we should Oh, no, Willem, or Willem has. Yeah. No, I haven't. You haven't? No. Oh, okay. I stayed on the wall. Okay. Is the viscous coating still on this part of the floor? Yeah. I mean, it's also a little bit on the door frame as well. What yeah. is that? Well, I'm going to walk on the ceiling. The, into the cheek? <laughs> Out of the cheek of the mouth? No, uh, the roof of the mouth. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so Willem, you head in. All right. And you notice immediately that this is a tunnel that starts to slope down. Wait. Mm-hmm. Waiting. Before you get out of view, well, should we I telepathic mean, bound? Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good idea. So we know what you're scouting about? It's funny because I was thinking about that earlier when I was stuck on the ceiling. I was like, <laughs> fuck, we should have done telepathic bond. <laughs> What's your survival? What is our most Nine used spell? Million. That's probably it, right? Mm-hmm. Like how, the most used <laughs> spell we've had as a group. Uh, all right. That might all be. Right. Uh, I have a plus nine to survival. Oh, okay. I have plus seventeen. So Jesus, if fuck. we ever need like <laughs> trap. Okay, everybody, get get in so you can see me. Okay. All right. <laughs> I lift her up higher towards me. Mm. Can I, you see me? Yes. <laughs> You're <laughs> sitting <laughs> on her. <laughs> I point at my eyes and then point back to theirs, and I cast telepathic bond. We should have done this before we went down. <laughs> I know, I know. We have to like squint. Now the, <laughs> now the knights don't know what's going on. Anyway, all right, you guys are all the knights. Wolf blade. Wolf blood blade. Wolf blood blade. Wolf blood blade. <laughs> Wolf blood blade. <laughs> Why is it so hard to say? Wolf, Wolf blood, blood blade. blade. Wolf blood blade. Wolf blood blade. It's blood all those blade. L's. It'd be kind of nice if they were down here because they'd probably be able to tell us what's on the floor. That's true. I mean, can I investigate what's on the floor just can a little we, bit? Yeah, can we? I don't want to touch it. From Tomar's just, arms? I mean, I hold her by her legs and dip her down toward the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception. <laughs> her face touches. Just the nose. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> just 19. Um, it smells terrible. It smells like rancid, like curdled rot. Milk. Um, you guys ever smelled like the water at the bottom of the garbage? Yeah, Ew. it smells kind of like that. Gross. Um, stop throwing away water. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a limp. I will never stop. Album. The water's bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it doesn't look like blood, but it is there. A, can I see a color to it? It's very dark. Uh, probably like a a black or like a dark brown. So it's like inky, kind of. Is there like a creature? Inky or gluey? Uh, more inky. Oh, okay. Oh, is this gonna be a monster? Water never touches stuff. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't want to touch this. Can I this is gross. Sense a monster. Can you sense a monster? <laughs> Roll sense monster. <laughs> That's right. It's a D zero. You might be able to. Shit. You might be able to roll survival to check to see if you were familiar that with is this. A, yeah, that is a good point. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, like a useful thing. Should I say that? What? You mean like rewind yeah, and then make it seem it. like it was natural? Like yeah. And we didn't meta game the fuck yeah. out of it. I mean, the sense monster thing was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. We can keep both. Billy, keep the sense monster, you fucking idiot. Yeah, Billy. Billy. Keep all of this in. Ugh. Don't cut anything. Just <laughs> Including us deliberating on whether or not we should cut it. Yeah, just and multi-track mix. At you. <laughs> just put it into fucking audition and then just multi-track mix down. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even no do editing. it. No editing. Don't do anything. No editing. It's perfect. Yeah, Nothing. none. All right. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to roll survival to see if I recognize this goop grossness. Okay. Nope. Plus 17, so 23. So, wait, what are you you trying to do? You're doing survival to... to or, uh, okay, okay, that yeah. makes sense. Um, you've seen something like this before. <gasps> Where? Uh, in Heart Valley. Mm. The gunky evil <gasps> that was no! all over the trees. Kind of reminds back. you of that. Throw one. back. Yeah. Listen to episode one. Yeah. Donkey evil. I'm imagining Tomar holding both of us by our ankles. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we're both like dangling down there. And I'm watching Pinwin investigate. And like trying to squint and look. If and somebody like, could go ahead and do a mock up or like a Photoshop of the, uh, what is it, Parenthood cover, Steve Martin? Because I'm pretty sure it's Steve Martin <laughs> holding the two children yeah. by their <laughs> ankles. Yep. Sorry. No, you're fine. Except one of the children is very, very tall. <laughs> so Tomar's arm is way up here. <laughs> and he's floating. I don't think I could actually hold you guys in that manner accurately. Okay, then you hold my ankles and I'll Unless hold Pinwin's. I was like <laughs> yeah. sideways and holding Pinwin down and then Gorble high up, you yeah. know? Anyway. Make it work. You're pretty strong, though. Figure no, I mean, it it's not a strength thing. It's just, like, the length of each one. Oh, Because okay. Pinwin's only, like, three feet tall. I guess that's true. And Gorble's huge feet tall <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you kind of figured that out Penway. okay <gasps> oh no but I, I, uh, this was like remember that gunky evil with all those people and that <gasps> yeah that whole thing mm. yeah this is a lot like that okay that's not good you guys recognize what this stuff is yeah we well, went to heart valley there was some messed up stuff going on. And there on. were some cultists there that were brainwashed by this goo. That was Cardleby, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you know about Cardleby? I don't. Oh. Was this the... Hmm. But I think I remember you guys talking about it on our you know, yeah. idol journeying. Was this the thing with the, the cart? Yeah. This is where all that happened. And the head? The talking head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can get into that when yeah, we're not... Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, Stay I guess we never stopped. Our moral choices weren't great then. We never We've stopped improved. to like ask what it, any of that was in Heart Valley. We just like tried to stop it and then we left. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. True. Burn it. Bye. And we never like yeah, revisited we it. We were never fast. like, oh, this is probably connected to something. But it's connected to something. I mean, we would be chasing our tails forever if yeah. we... I, we, we I mean, we still that. don't know what it is. You guys have tails? We just assume mm -hmm. evil. Garble was born with a tail. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Are you one of those people that has I like, the little okay. nubbins right. on the <laughs> tailbone? <laughs> Never mind. She Can wasn't. You wag it? That was a meme rumor. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm heading down the tunnel. So you notice that it <laughs> slopes downward, um, and then it it's almost like a... And like it just arches down, and you you could probably assume that the shape of the tunnel is almost like just kind of drops off, like a throat, sort of. Mm. <gasps> no, we're not like in a giant monster mouth, are we? Like we just walked right in, deep, 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 deep. <laughs> Jonah and the whale. What a weird well. <laughs> what a weird whale. Well. <laughs> um, what are you guys doing? Waiting for Willem. Okay. Is the uh, gunky evil, like, water falling down this slope? It's not water falling, but you can hear, like, a... Ew. Gross. All right. I Ugh. 
So gunky. So evil. <laughs> <laughs> so gunky, so evil. <laughs> I'm going to continue down until okay. I find something uh, worth reporting back on. Okay, it sort of uh, arches again, and then the ceiling seems to become the floor. Mm-hmm. All right, so I got to do a switchy poo. If you'd like. All right, so I'm going to tell the guys, hey, it the tunnel slopes downward and it essentially just becomes a cave throat. Uh, but it's it's leveled off and it basically did an inversion. All right, nothing yet, though? Nothing that I've been able to spot just yet, no. All right, well, I'll come down as far as that and then you keep going. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Then I do that. You guys float in there. Mm-hmm. All right, you continue on, Willem. This passage stretches a little bit further and it starts to get like really like stinky. Like it starts to smell real rancid. Uh-huh. It's it's uh overwhelming almost. But you continue on and you uh wa- you feel as the curve changes one more time and drops down. <laughs> so we're in a cave intestine. <laughs> uh just still going. It curved around again, so if you want to come on down, I don't see anything. Any signs of inflammation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like they tried to combat it with something. There's a lot of pink gelatinous stuff down here. Well, it's probably corticosteroids. Yeah. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> follow the, the poo Not, tube. Nothing of import in the poo tube just yet. Um, so you fall down to that point? Yes, sir. Everyone roll perception. <laughs> Poop session. Ooh. 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 I am perceptive as hell. Aww, 24. Yeah. 24. 17. 37. 18. Oh, nice. Um, Pinwin, yeah. you mm. you hear a change in like the reverberation all of a sudden in this tunnel. It almost gets muffled. Mm. Everything starts to sound a little bit different. Voices aren't carrying as well. And you hear like a... Mm. No. All around you. Ugh. You guys start to notice there's a different... Like it suddenly gets a little bit warmer in this tunnel. Oh. And Willem, as you're walking, all of a sudden, what you're walking on becomes soft and malleable. Mm-mm. Almost spongy. We're in a monster mouth. <laughs> uh, so even the ceiling. The doorway tried it, to warn us. Am I am I able to tell like if the gunky stuff is on the ceiling as well now too? Yep, it's all over. All right, so guys, I just fucking walked right into some of the gunky evil shit, and I'm gonna do a backtrack real quick here and try and wipe my feet off. Uh, but it seems to be everywhere now. And uh, as you start to backtrack, you notice that even the spots that were previously like rough rock are now very spongy and very like it feels like you're walking on a very soft surface. All right. It seems like the entire tunnel is changing uh, into the gunky shit. You guys suddenly... The, the magical darkness begins to fade as the tunnel walls begin to glow. And mm-hmm. you can see now it's moving. It oh. looks like you are in some sort of fleshy tunnel as opposed to a rocky one. Uh. Almost as if you're in a throat or a stomach mm-hmm. of some kind. Mm-hmm. And from behind you, Tomar... You hear a, as if the doorway has closed, and then you hear, and suddenly, from far beyond, you start to see a slow-moving wave of viscous liquid heading your way. Uh, and that's where we're going to end for tonight. Are you going to kill our characters in a monster mouth? That's how we go? It's been fun, guys. Gross. Wow. I, I wanted more answers. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby, that's nice. I'm not looking forward to What this. a terrible well. 
We're going to need a shower after this one. <laughs> like five. All right. Tell me why you guys deserve your five boon. All my dog jokes. At the expense of the wolf, <laughs> oh, of the no. blo- wolf blood blade. Gonna You're going to be lucky if you, you get one, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thinking to use my spell to emit light in the darkness. Okay. We asked a lot of questions to the servants mm-hmm. and did Studied a lot of them. Mm-hmm. investigating. Yeah, you all did some good investigating, some good survival, some good scouting. Used my mage hand. Using my that was, chalk. Yeah, that was pretty good. Chalk. chalk was good. Mm-hmm. I have it. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> chalk chalk, chalk it, up it up to, to a the, good time. Nah, nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really edit that out. <laughs> no. Um, all right. So you guys can all get five points of boo. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right. Now it's time for tonight's MVPC. <laughs> That's the most valuable player character. You guys will tell me who deserves an additional five points of boon for being awesome or just whatever reason you would prefer. Uh, so just as always, Willem is one, Tomar is two, Pinwin is three, and Gorbel is four. I will give you a few seconds to decide on who you want to vote for, and then I'll count to three, and uh, you guys will vote. How many points is a boon? What? How many points is a boon? Well, you get five 35. points of boon. 35 to get a boon. Oh, I see oh, what you're saying. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm at 35. That's exciting. Oh, nice. Nice. I got a, Okay, sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm not on task at all. I got a little on task. No, I'm not now. <laughs> 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 all right. On the count of three. One, two, three, vote. So we've got... Two votes for Gorbel, one vote for Willem, and one vote for Pinwin. Willem, why'd you vote for Pinwin? I rolled a D4. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> it, it was one of those episodes where it was That's just sort true. of like, we were just being us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Gorbel, why'd you vote for Willem? Uh, I think the scouting is really helpful. Okay. Maybe not in this Not case, in this scenario. <laughs> it was just like... I see the bad slightly before you feel the bad. <laughs> Didn't tell you to follow me. That's true. That's true. That was your call. Oh, um, man, I should have just left him there. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Tomar, why'd you vote for Gorbel? Um, I liked how she dealt with her brood army. Um, interested to see where that goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not really much. Okay. Penwin, why'd you vote for Gorbel? Because she's queen. <laughs> and that's really fun. And she has a wolf army now. How Like, that's super cool. Specifically werewolf army. <laughs> yeah. That is super dope. And they were super helpful because they let, well, they let it, well, maybe they're not. What if they hate us and they did this on purpose? <gasps> I've been waiting for this for a long time. You now? rolled an insight check, okay? No, mm-hmm. I didn't. Yeah, you did. Gorbel did. Oh, Gorbel did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that means tonight's MVPC is Gorbel Ice Tower. Oh. Take your five points of experience. And Correction. Queen. Gorbel Queen. Ice Tower. Queen. Gorbel Ice Tower. I love it. <laughs> Just you guys are all racking up these titles. All right. Well, that's it for tonight's episode. Thanks to Chad Piper for that awesome intro song. Thanks to Adrian Von Ziegler for that beautiful background music. Thanks to all of you listeners. Uh, thanks for checking out our social media. Please do all of that stuff. Continue to do it. Keep listening and downloading and fighting off that virus. Everyone out there, I know we got some Italian listeners. So uh, good luck to you. Uh, we're, we're we're thinking about you. So. Um, but you know, keep downloading if you got nothing else to do. Uh, but that's it for us, folks. I am Seth, your host and DM, and this is the D20 Syndicate podcast, where we go on adventures so you don't have to. Mm-hmm. Bye. 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 Right. Bye. 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 Bye.
And now we're going through my back door and we (laughs) 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 I have to redo that sentence. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Seth, for adding that feature to the house specifically. (laughs) There's never gonna be a time where we can say that with a straight face. If we didn't laugh at references. (laughs) Anyway. Then we went through my back door to get to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to re- oh, yeah, rephrase or something. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> what was I was thinking in my notes. There's a better way to say it. There's got to be. Okay. Uh, went through the secret entrance to my mansion. <laughs> <laughs> my gargantuan back I door. Mean, <laughs> 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 Cue the this clip is going to shit. Cue the clip of the train hurtling into the <laughs> tunnel that's too small. Uh. Anyway. We went through the back door of my mansion. I have to redo that because that's not quite good. There's <laughs> that no sounds context very there. aggressive. I'm glad Billy's editing this one. <laughs> Kids do. My mom let me say b- oh, shit. blitch instead of bitch, <laughs> and that was okay, even though the what the blitch, like, yes. the, <laughs> what the blitch, <laughs> even though the intent was clearly bitch yeah. or schnit, we would say schnit. <laughs> you stupid blitch. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that would go over well in like general society. Yeah. <laughs> those are definitely. But my mom rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she would agree.